Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Depop. Today I have for you a what sold video. These are 20 items that sold for $40 or more and they sold between January 14th and January 26th. I try to be as transparent as possible with these what sold videos because I want to let others know what is selling in a recent time frame and what seems like it may be a reasonable price to pay for it. I found these videos invaluable when I was starting out reselling and to be honest I still find them so valuable. They're my most watched videos from other YouTubers so I'm hopeful that this will be helpful. Without further ado, let's get to it. First up is this Everlane Japanese Go Weave Slip Dress in Black. This one I paid $13.49 for. It took 33 days to sell. It sold for $49.55 over on eBay. If something sells on eBay, the price I say that it sold for does include shipping. So that is an extra cost that gets deducted out of that number. And that left me with a profit of $22.86. Then these Everlane tennis shoes sold. These are the Re-Leather Court shoes. These ones I had paid $13.50 for. These were a bit slower of a sale in my book. It was 81 days. They did end up selling for $45 and that left me with $22.50. Next, another Everlane piece. Everlane is probably the highest quantity in my closet. I feel like it can sell really quickly and some pieces bring in really great value. So if you're curious what styles are doing well, definitely check out my what solds to see. This is a men's piece. It is the quilted liner shirt jacket in black. This one it took 57 days to sell and this one came in an outerwear box. So my cost of goods were higher. It was $25.50 on this piece. It ended up selling for 50 and that only left me with $14.50. A lot of the other outer pieces did better. This one it just didn't sell for as high. Next is a piece by Free People Movement. So this is the athletic line of Free People. This is a hotshot romper in florist floral. This one sold for $42. I had paid $13.09 for this. It took 28 days to sell and left me with $17.54. This next piece is a really nice piece, but I have a lot of it and I think other sellers do, so it's probably a bit saturated. This is the Everlane Alpaca Patterned Scarf in Gray Check. This is just such a gorgeous scarf, so if you're looking for one, definitely check out the links below at my closet. Um, I ended up paying $7.20 for this. It sold in one day for $42, and that left me with $23.63. This next item, it took such a long time to sell. I bought this item from Neiman Marcus on sale. I was trying a new retail arbitrage opportunity where I was buying designer from Neiman Marcus when it was on sale and hoping that I could sell it for more and it ultimately failed. It's something I have not tried again because the items just took so long to sell and then when they did sell, if they sold, I still have plenty of them. I did not make much profit because my cost of goods were so high. So I definitely learned that that was not a great sourcing opportunity, at least with the prices that they were at when I purchased these. So this piece and one more later in the video came from my retail arbitrage attempt at Nima Marcus, and you'll see. Um, this one is by Hement and Indita, which is a great brand. Um, if you can find it for less and maybe in a different style, it may have just been this style that was just not moving. Um, and I do think this one was on sale on Neiman Marcus and other um, department stores for a long time. So I was competing with them as well as with other resellers. So altogether, these items just sat and ultimately I made like no profit. So this one is the Maya dress. It's a really cute dress and it was in this pink lime color. I paid $86.90 for this one. It took 460 days to sell. Someone sent me an offer for $120 and I just took it. I was so ready to recoup my investment and thankfully I made some profit. I made $9.10 but this is just a bad buy and 460 days is just so long to have that money tied up. Next is an item that I picked up from Savers. I paid $9.64 for this Shoepaka Merino Wool Alpaca Poncho 
and it took 26 days to sell. It sold for $41.45 and that left me with a profit of $18.92. Next an item that also took a very long time to sell. This is the Everlane Day Boot in Brick Italian Leather. The color was brick um, and then the material was Italian leather. Gorgeous boot, tiny size. I think it was like size five or five and a half. And I think that's why it just took so long to sell. I do think Everlane shoes are good and usually sell relatively quickly, but for some reason this one just didn't move. I paid $45 for this pair of boots and it sold for $45. So I ended up losing $9 after Poshmark took the fees and it took 421 days to sell, but I'm so glad it's out of my closet. <laughs> Okay, moving on to a good sell. I feel like those last few sales that I mentioned were just like really bad ones, but I do try to share everything so you can learn from my mistakes. This one was a great find. This was a find from Savers. I paid $15.44 for this vintage Levi's jacket and it was a trucker jacket with like the Sherpa lining and it was from the 1970s. So part of the reason I stopped in my tracks when I saw this on a rack was that it said made in USA and usually that just means that it's more valuable in a vintage piece and then also this was Levi's which some Levi's do insanely well so I took the chance I listed it I want to say for 150 or 170 it might have been 150 um but someone sent me an offer and I accepted it sold for $112.55 42 days after I listed it and that left me with a profit of $74.69. So that's a definite win in my book. Then this Everlane shirt dress sold. This one I had paid $13.49 for. It took 29 days to sell, not bad. It sold for $50.40, leaving me $21.35. This next one was a little bit slower of a sale for sure. This one took 143 days. It is by the brand Mistress Rocks and it is this jumpsuit. So Mistress Rocks is the sister brand to House of CV. Well, I don't even know if I call it the sister brand. It's like the lower brand, but I think sold at the same company and like the security tag and everything looks like identical. It just has Mistress Rocks rather than House of CV. So it's definitely like the lower end line, but similar aesthetic. Um, this one I paid $29.75 for. It sold for $55, leaving me only $14.25. Um, I would recommend Mr. Shock if you can find it for a low enough cost of goods. I think $29.75 is too much to pay for this brand. I know I just talked about a great Levi sale. This one is not so good. This is a brand new pair of Levi's 501 skinny high rise jeans. They are skinny, so that doesn't help them. Skinny is a harder sale right now just because of trends. And this one took 496 days to sell. I paid $15.39 and it did end up selling for $61, which is a good sale. And that left me with a profit of $31.39. The big caveat here is the 496 days. That's just such a long time to hold on to these. Then this dress by Show Me Your Moo Moo sold. This is the Reese Ruffle dress in champagne. I really enjoy selling Show Me Your Moo Moo. This style specifically was a little bit of a slower move. This one took 208 days to sell. I paid $12.93. It sold for 70 and left me a profit of $43.07. Um, certain styles in Show Me Your Moo Moo sell like hotcakes. They sell so quick. And this one, it's like middle tier. Um, I definitely think I've had a couple of this exact style sell less than 208 days and I don't think I've had any that are selling taking more than 208 days. Okay this one is my retail arbitrage fail from Nima Marcus. This is a Veronica Beard swimsuit. I paid $91.69 for this and I definitely thought I could sell it way higher. I thought I could sell this for like $2.50. So I had this priced at $2.50 for I don't even know a long time and then I slowly started dropping the price and someone finally sent me an offer for $100. 453 days after my original listing date and I just accepted. Again, these pieces are just taking up room. The cost of goods are high. My cash flow is tied up into them. 
even if I'm taking a loss, I'm just so ready to move on from these pieces. And since I accepted a $100 offer, I lost $11.69 on this one. Then this Everlane Day Tripper shirt dress sold. This one, again, cost of goods were $13.49. It took 41 days to sell, not too bad. It sold for $48 and left me with $22.89. Next, another slow sell. I feel like this video has plenty of examples of like things that are taking longer. These are some Legence Margot coated skinny jeans. I think skinny is the keyword there on why they took so long. These I paid $20 for. They took 221 days to sell. They sold for $65, leaving me at 32. This next one, I'm actually not sure why they took so long to sell. This is the Free People Layton Suede Loafer in black. These I bought at a savers for $8.54. They took 209 days to sell. I didn't ever look at my pricing on these. I could have just been way too high and it discouraged buyers. Maybe that's why it took so long. Um, I'm not quite sure on this one, but I got an offer for $69 and just accepted. That left me with a profit of $35.60. I'm trying to remember what my original pricing was. Maybe I think I priced these at like $125 or something, which maybe that was just outrageous and I never reviewed it in all that time. But I do like selling free people shoes. Usually they do pretty well. Then another pair of Everlane sneakers. These are the court sneakers. I paid $10.56. They took 50 days to sell. They sold for 70, leaving me 45 44 Then a rather quick sell. This is the Everlane Captain Dress in Black Check. This one I paid $13.49. Sold just two days after listing for $44 leaving me at $24.19. And last but not least, we have a swimsuit by Andy Swim. Andy Swim has a pretty high retail and it's a good brand if you find it. This is the Jetties One Piece in Stone. I paid $10.45 for this. It took 184 days to sell. It sold for $40, leaving me $21.55. And that concludes all 20 items that sold for $40 or more. If you find this helpful, please let me know with a comment below or even a like. It really does help support my channel. And I just want to thank you so much for your time and for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.